Your Excellency Alin Wadda, Dr. Chai Prabhat, Chairman Sushil Sharaf, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I have the task of outlining what uh, the WHEF Steering Committee has been doing in the past, what we are trying to do now, and what we will attempt to do in the forthcoming months and year. Uh, if there's any one thing I plead with you for is patience. This organization has a great future, but as the saying goes, the devil is in the detail. And I will quickly outline the specifics of the issues we are trying to cover. And we are always at the stage of drafting, so please feel free to provide us with feedback. I won't uh, uh, pause too long with our goal, which, of which you've, had, uh, you've heard enough. Uh, I'll simply go through very quickly all the individual items. The first thing we're trying to do very painfully and slowly is to create an international database. And I must tell you, uh, businesses, perhaps not just Hindu ones, are not very good at keeping their uh, address and other details updated. So we are having a great deal of trouble. We are trying very hard to create this database, which will be a very important part of the process of allowing people to network either directly with each other or through the WHEF itself. We now have a secretariat and staff, as you've heard, and we will act as intermediaries as and when you require. Uh, the eight regional centers will have a point of access so that people who are local to that area can have engagement if they so wish. We will then have a process of policy advocacy about which I will speak in a minute a little bit more, and a whole range of services that will be offered to WHEF members in order to make their membership fruitful and worthwhile. We also plan to provide business intelligence in different markets, which will help people to assess the prospects of engaging in these different countries and continents. The database will have the global and sectoral identity of firms. Because the database is taking time, we have decided to have online a questionnaire for individual businesses to request the identity of a potential partner. So if you want to find out somebody in your sector who is not in our database, we will undertake a search for you and provide some measure of due diligence. So you should come to us, to our offices in New Delhi, and of course, our newly appointed CEO, uh, Mr. Garo Trivedi. We hope to achieve enhanced ex expertise over time in identifying partners. So over time, we will become better and better at finding you the exact kind of partner that you wish. The issue of scrutiny and lobbying, it seems to me, is very central and something that I firmly believe in. While the database base is in the process of being established, we will scrutinize existing, existing legislation in different countries, particularly in Bharat. We will pay sustained attention to issues that affect SMEs in particular. Of course, we will look at wider issues, but I suspect SMEs will have more trouble in devoting resources to do some of this on their own. We will seek to transmit feedback to government and legislators on a cooperative basis to make them understand the pitfalls of some of the things they propose and to suggest alternatives. This will be an important part of our activity and we hope to start this very, very soon. And if need be, we will lobby legislators and opinion makers to make the business environment hospitable. And I think there are many areas in which the government through uh, ignorance and indifference is failing SMEs, and this seems to be a problem in many countries because I am forever hearing about the complaints from uh, SMEs in the UK where I live. And we will offer professional help to members 
in order to help them bid for public contracts in the European Union and the United States. I must say I was filled with envy to learn that the Chinese government has a first class office in New York which helps Chinese companies to bid for public contracts in the United States. We surely well will imitate what they do and do it better. We will also proceed to, as a service to review the legal issues for conducting business in particular venues and this will be on our website. So if you want to start out in Chile a lot of the basic information you require, including specific URLs where more substantive information is available, will be on our URL. This is happening at this very moment, and I hope in the coming months we will cover most of the significant parts of the world. It's rather easy to do it for the EU because all their legislative processes are in one place, a bit more difficult in Bharat, but we are doing our best. If you require specific help, this will be provided on cost basis. We will also be able to tell you about those things which are administrative and not fully uh, evident in any of the legislative processes which are available in public, but people who conduct business will know. And this is something we will have some expertise in, so you can operate without too much difficulty. It is also our aspiration to hold regular seminars in different parts of the world on issues of concern to SMEs. We would like you to suggest an issue that you think would be of help for you to have greater discussion on, and we will assemble a group of experts. We will have it on in a particular place, but we will also broadcast the details of what's going on, perhaps live, online, maybe even on YouTube. We will solicit and publish articles on our website on particular issues as and when they arise so that you can be informed about issues which are pending and which will affect the way you conduct business. In the next few months, we will start our first online forums and clinics where experts will discuss a particular issue and audience participation will also be possible. Particular legal advisory services are also provided by WHEF. These are outsourced to experts, and again, these will be made available at cost. Over time, the cost of providing the same advice will diminish because we can use the same information more than once. And I stress, this will be of benefit to our members because we will access particular individuals and legal experts in different countries. One of the areas to which we attach great importance and where one of our steering committee members has agreed to be a voluntary uh, guide, this is Subhash Thakrar, who will be here tomorrow, is how to raise capital for business ventures. We have a number of plans which are in the pipeline, and one of these is to identify favored creditors who will look with sympathy at people who are WHE members. We will have the names and identities of specific banks and finance houses who will take an interest in applications made by our members. And we will provide some basic due diligence in advance and of course the financial institution concerned will do it in their appropriate way. As I come to the end, because I have been told there's a marksman out there and if we exceed 10 minutes we will be shot from behind. Um, we want to become a focal point for Hindu businesses across the world. And this by virtue of having a, an extensive and detailed database I think is feasible. The more I travel with Swamiji around the world, from Fiji to New Zealand to Nepal to India, it is the business people who themselves said to us that they will find such a service useful. It is up to us now in the next few months to get organized and I have great faith that we in the steering committee and our individual collaborators, including our senior consultant who I see has come to join us, Ms. Sashi Srinivasan, that we will provide you with a splendid service. Thank you very much indeed.